Hello folks, welcome back to the Always Garage. Right, I had a box arrive, some of the parts are here now, fluids and stuff for high booster prep. Just to recap quick, the bandits planned to come off the road for a complete makeover, under, whatever's relevant, and in its place is going to be the hedge abuser. Now, high boost is pretty cool, doesn't need a lot, as I've already said, I've gone through the service history, it's had it seems it's had braking clutch fluid about a year ago, which is handy, because I was going to do it, but it's a difficult job. Not technically difficult, it's just bleeding brakes, you know what it's like, it's rubbish. So that I don't have to do. I've checked the fluids in both reservoirs, and it's clean. I'll show you in a minute. So really, if the car ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to leave that, it's fine. The brakes work okay. And it's just going to be oil, filter, coolant. One of you guys asked for how to do coolant on a GSX-R, it's pretty much the same, so when I get to that, which will be shortly, then you can watch, it's pretty straightforward, take a hose off, drain the water out, put the hose on, boil the water in, it really is that easy. So that'll be good. Some other things which I need to do, I'll get done shortly. So there's the stack, really the Hayabusa needs to be made ready for the road. And it would appear that temperature's dropped again, it's about 8 degrees in here, about 3 degrees outside, it's minus something over, it's freezing overnight now and the salt's come back, although today it's absolutely minging down, I'll show you in a set, it's horribly raining and it's going to be out for about 4 days and that's great because it washes the salt away, so no salt on the roads, which is good. I want to try and get past the worst of the salt and then put the high booster on the road. There's no reason to put a mint immaculate bike on the road when the worst of the salt is here. I'm not that impatient, I can't wait. The Bandit, I'm just chewing over things in my head, I've got some ideas. Uh, there won't be sad clip-on German-esque style Street Fighter parts because I'm just not interested in bolting on pre-made stuff. I want to make stuff for it, I want to get involved in sheet metal making and stuff like that. Back to the old project of making sheet metal parts, I made a nose cone for the iron and that was so much fun. It was so satisfying to make that. I want to get cracking and involved in that again but on a bigger scale and that's what the Bandit's all. Bandit's going to be off the road. Probably for a year, maybe even more. It's a long-term project, and I don't know if I'll even bother numbering them. They'll just roll on and roll on. Maybe I will just for chronological order so that people can pick them up. I get moans if I don't do that. So there you go. But there we are. Before the Bandit can be off the road, the high booster has got to be made ready to go on the road so I can just use it and forget it. So today, a box arrived. I'll show you what's in it. Let's do some unboxing like NT8 on a porch. Just before we do, you've got to see this. This is morning going out on the road. Look at that. Persisting down. And the worst part, I've got to go to work in that in about, I don't know, about an hour. So, all today is, is some unboxing. This has got to be made ready, as I've already said. Look at it. Ain't she party? Gonna get dirty. And I think it's gonna look better when it's dirty. Can't wait. Right. Now, this old thing. It's serving the purpose for now. Just gonna get the box ready. Right, unboxing. This has got to be one of the most favourite things. Don't you love unboxing new stuff? Even if it's only bits and bobs. So just in the greatest tradition of my brand NT8 on the porch, you need a small knife to open the box. This is my Tanto. I love my Tanto. So, just open up. Carefully, because there are plastic bottles in there. Cool. What's in the box? <laughs> I love this stuff. If you, if you love this, drive over this stuff. Lay it out in front of the tyre and drive over it. It's like a machine gun. I'm going to save all that. It goes bang, 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 bang as you drive along. And there's loads of it. You never really grow up, do we? Eh? More fun having doing packaging and playing with packaging than we do the shit that's in the box. High flow filter for the hedge abuser. Oh, knife getting waller. So, oil filter, cool. That's going to go on. It doesn't need an oil filter. This is a weird thing. On the high booster, it says uh, oil every three and a half thousand miles and filter every fourth change. It's kind of oil and filter, then oil, then oil, then oil and filter. So that's every fourth change they recommend you change your filter. That's crap. I don't believe in that at all. The filter costs nothing. In fact, I'm using this 
Putolene DX4 semi synthetic oil. Semi synthetic oil is fine for the Hayabusa. It's not a race, but it's not an R6, it doesn't rev to 17,000. Semi synthetic Putolene 1040, that's what I'm using. And this deal, the filter came free, and that was from MP Accessories in Wales. Brilliant, great deal. Um, that was awesome. More packaging. So I'm going to use that stuff, 4 litre pack, and that was about 50, I'll come to price in a minute, I can't remember, any bit stop deals with all my admin. Uh, coolant, 3 litres of Fux Pro Coolant, I kid you not, I love this stuff. I think it's pronounced Fux, but it's much more fun to say Fux. So Fux Silkaline Pro Cool, uh, 3 litres, it says it takes 2.7 litres, and this is pre-mixed, ready to use. The only reason I want to change it, it's not due to be changed, but I don't know the bike, um, so I'm going to change it anyway. The other thing is, when we went to Brightona, um, it sat in the queue for the, ent like for the entrance queue among, among a thousand other bikes, and we just sat there ticking over, and it got hotter and hotter and hotter, and then it spewed all its coolant out. I think I said that on a previous video, and the reason is that some numpty has put some nice, pretty gauzes for looks and effect in all the exit holes from the fairing, which I'll come to. I'm going to have to remove them all because they're stupid and they're an idiotic thing to put because they caused the bike to overheat. As it overheated, it boiled up and the expansion tank just burped out probably about a pint of coolant, which was really spectacular and embarrassing in front of a thousand other bikes. They did find it very funny. Um, I only topped it up with some distilled water, so the mix that's in there now in there for is a bit thinner. It's not a correct mix. It's going to be used in the winter. It could be minus six, minus eight. We don't know what's coming. So this stuff's good down to about uh, Celsius, uh, about minus 20, which is brilliant. It won't freeze. That's good. Three of those, one of those, one of those. Tooled up, ready to go. So I can't leave you today. I've got to go to work in an hour, and I don't have a puncher today. There you go. Take it easy. Ride safe. I'll see you when we get cracking.